Hey guys, I'm down to my last few games, uh, but before that, let me talk about the deck for a while. Alright, so here are my final conclusions about the deck. It's pretty powerful. I would say it's tier 1.5. I really stuck to this list just to see how it fares in 50 games, but maybe after this I could put in a few tweaks. Even if I lose my last 3 games uh, to make 50, I would still have a 54% win rate, which I think is good but not great. Let me just run through a few of the common matchups I've been facing and what to do or what to hope for. So Bomb Warrior is a bad matchup. If he gets bombs out early, especially upgrading a wrench caliber or buffing it in any way, it's so hard. You could still get an early Guardian Animals out, but Bomb Warrior has so many tools to deal with that. Blade Storm is your worst enemy. Sure, you summon beasts may have different health your summon beast may have different health at times but bomb warrior still has so many ways to deal with that like um shield slam or sword and board plus blade storm so in some cases i don't play guardian animals just because i can sometimes i wait for a broomstick just so i could mess the blade storm up a little bit so yeah, this matchup is still quite difficult. You have to hope he gets his bombs a bit late while you want to get your guardian animals a bit early. But you have to play around Bladestorm, so that's another factor. If I were to tweak this build uh, in case you're facing like a bomb warrior meta, I'd probably put the extra Anubisot defender it's pretty weird that I only run one here, but I only run one because I only run one overflow. Sometimes I think think about running two, but most, most of the time I see no use uh, on the second one. Most of the time I'm fatiguing by the second one, so yeah. Alright, so next is Tempo Mage. You can't really prevent the spell generation of Tempo Mage. What you have control over is what minions you choose to kill with it. I'd say this is a good matchup. Kill Sorcerer's Apprentice as soon as it comes out, especially if the opponent has a lot of cards in his hand. Then you should also show respect to Conjurer's Calling. If Tempo Mage gets an early Mana Giant out and you didn't trade with that 8-8, you might just lose early to Conjurer's Calling. So yeah, you can prevent yourself from being Ray of Frosted a lot of times in this game, and Devolving Missiles hurts. But early ramp and Guardian Animals, I think this is a pretty good matchup. Alright, next is Turtle Mage. I've said this in my past video. Well, sometimes it's just better to concede when you know it's Turtle Mage. However, there, there's a chance to win when, for one, they get their potions in their opening hand. But there's no way for you to know that. But what you can actually be proactive about is killing Tertullian Pilgrim as soon as possible. There's a chance that your opponent may cast this on the 8th turn and he could freeze your board. So your hope here is if you, you've already ramped to the point that you've already casted Survival of the Fittest and making a rush minion that kills the Pilgrim. I know, it's a small chance, these are small odds, but if you don't want to concede and still see if you could win, I think those are the small chances. Alright, so again, Soul Demon Hunter. I think early ramp still kills this deck. There are a few losses I've had against Soul Demon Hunter and most of these were because they had Magtheridon. You can't really play around Magtheridon. But I guess you just have to, you know, see if it's the right time to play a taunt minion or something. You should definitely play around Blade Dance. 
you have to keep your minions that you want to survive in your hand especially if you think a blade dance is coming and i think blade dance is pretty bad if you have like early guardian animals also if you have three minions in the battlefield what i do sometimes is just play that animated broomstick just to mess up blade dance it's a good matchup and finally i think the worst matchup is face hunter you can't really tell on ladder what secrets they have but you have to know for sure they have freezing trap and pressure plate and i think these are designed to mess up guardian animals you can't really win against an aggressive opening plus early secrets against them but if they're sorta slow like they have a slow opening or they didn't get their secrets out at all early on and you were able to play guardian animals before them before a secret i think that scenario has pretty good odds of winning so what I, say, what I sometimes do when there's a secret or two out is I play animated broomstick, play another spell like coin or innervate or whatever, just to bait out pressure plate. It doesn't help against a uh, freezing trap, but at least once you play guardian animals after pressure plate is gone, you could play around and just attack with the minion you don't mind returning your hand yeah i think that's it that's all um thanks for sticking around i'm gonna play my last three games to end this 50 games with druid i'll upload this video even if i lose all those three games so you guys can stick around stream or my future streams uh, my druid is about to have 1000 wins soon so that's pretty cool so thanks so much Please subscribe if you like my content and I'll see you again next time. Alright, we're down to our last three games uh, just for the purposes of getting 50 but I'm gonna continue playing after this. Right, so anything but Turtle Mage and we're good, right? Speaker Gidra. Probably just keep the Innervate. Okay, it's Tempo Mage. So, yeah, anything but Turtle Mage. And I think we're fine. Though, of course, we need guardian animals, as always. Hmm. Okay, no ramp, just uh, innervate. Well, innervate is a ramp. I mean, expecting wild growth or overgrowth. Or guardian animals could pretty much lose if we don't get beasts or guardian animals but he, he has a slow opener as well so I think we're still fine Right, this might be a mana cyclone turn. Hello there, Andre. What's up? How's it going? So, did you pick up your was it your aunt in from Italy? All right, so 
Tempo Mage is usually a good matchup, but this one's a pretty bad start for me. Yeah, thanks very much for, for watching, man. I appreciate it. It's like um, 4 p.m. there, 4.20 p.m. or something. Is that right? Or 5 p.m.? Alright, I think I'm gonna lose this game. So I don't know if you could see it. All right. I don't know if you could see the score here. I'm I'm completing 50 games with Druid, and I'm at 27:20. And I was saying earlier that I don't think this is super tier one. I think it should have some tweaks, but. Like maybe from Diamond to Legend, I think this is pretty good. So Tempo me just always been a good matchup, but I guess I messed something up here or he has a pretty solid hand. Oh, Broom is good. I couldn't deal with the Frost Whisper though. Play Pala to get rank 1. Sorry, what do you mean? Yeah, this this deck is... I'd say very high rolly. You kinda need Guardian Animals to win. You gotta get it early. And if you don't, you gotta get a Beast early and a Broomstick early. Or else you're just dead. <laughs> But if it works, it's really powerful. Like, if you get lucky, it, it's a bit unstoppable if you get the lucky hands, you know. Against Paladin, I think Paladin's the worst matchup. Yeah, Libram Paladin. It's, um, I'll try it next time. I, I just have to finish these three more games uh, with... Because I'm playing 50 games. Yeah, the curve of um, Paladin is pretty broken. Okay, I'm just gonna concede this, sorry. So last two games with this, and I'll pr I could probably change the deck. Right, so let's hope this last game is a win. Soul Demon Hunter is a good matchup. Tempo Demon Hunter, not so much a good matchup. I don't think I want to keep Nature Studies unless I had a ramp in my hand or I'll probably throw this away as well. Okay, this is good. Just need garden animals, of course. Yeah, so sometimes I'd win so many games consecutively with this deck, but when Varians catch us up, I guess it's just slightly above a 50% win rate. So let's play a more consistent deck. Okay, it's Soul Demon Hunter, so I think it's a good matchup unless he's running Magtheridon. Or if I don't get a beast out, it's always the case. But I can't always be unlucky, right? The same way I can't always be lucky. 
It should be a trade-off. If I get guardian animals next turn, I'm coining into overgrowth. Or either way, am I coining into overgrowth? Hmm, maybe. Okay, this is a good bait. He kills it. Um, I'm, I'm still fine with it. Sorta of less blade than scare for me. Oh, there we go. Alright. Yeah, some some demon hunters run horde pillager. Very flexible and good card. Alright, ideally I want a Twilight Runner, but I wouldn't mind getting a taunt and a tre treasure. Ow. probably do this. I don't know if this is the wrong move, but I don't want to waste the heal. So I could have coined into deal 2, but I'd rather save this for restoring 5 health to myself. Right, he probably has Blade Dance in his hand. Couldn't really um, have prevented that. There you go. Taunt. Ah! Low roll. Well, it's gonna attack face instead of this, so I have a free survival of the fittest here. So this is one, two. Ooh, this seals twelve. Three. Then I could have one, um, two, three. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty good. Uh, they run consume magic, so he could easily deal with this, I guess. But at least I got the survival out. And it's good I have Viscera in play. I, I mean, in my hand. Okay. So guys, if you're still there, well, I think I'm winning this one. Um, I mean, I could probably still lose, but I think most likely this is a win. And my MMR is just the worst. Like, at least right now, if I lose... My rank D rank so high and if I win my rank goes up by like five or ten or maybe twenty right now, but uh, I don't know how to improve it, so I just have to keep winning. And even if I have a positive win rate, like if I leave the game, of course I have to sleep, I have to eat. Um, this isn't really my job, it's more of a hobby. 
my rank is just terrible. The decay. So, how to improve? How to keep winning? That's what everyone wants to know. Let's get some dream portals out so I could win. Oof. But it's still a 412. There we go. Oh, nice. Now we're high rolling. Uh, don't think he could deal with these with a blade dance. It would be unlikely. Nice. Though I don't have swipes in my deck or moonfires. I still think I like this build better than Exotic Moonfire build. Sorry, Exotic Mount Cellar build. I don't know, that, that deck relies too much on having spells in your hand. Hmm. Card I haven't seen much play. Was that Mage Hunter? Yeah. Kinda like that card. Okay, I guess I win next turn. Well, he's healing 5. This is 16 damage. I still win. Cool. Alright, that was a good 50 games. It's 28-22. If you could see here, it's a 56% win rate. It's good, but it's not great. So, I'm probably gonna find a deck that I could play for 50 games that at least has higher than 60%. In this meta, at least. So I'm probably gonna change my deck now. For the meantime, though, still wanna continue playing because I'm like 945 out of a thousand. But I could do that next time. 